water levels at the Port of Catoosa were reported to be very high a week ago due to rain and flooding. But there are some companies like Cochran Metal Processing who are operating as normal. But many others closer to the port who must sit and wait. Hundreds of people around the Midwest saw record floods last week, and many heavy water areas like the Port of Catoosa are still suffering from the aftermath. 4,000 jobs represented right here at the Port of Catoosa. That's direct jobs at the port every day. On the port, few are working and over 70 companies have no way of shipping cargo using the port's barge system. This 500,000 pound incinerator arrived at the port nearly three weeks ago, but now it sits, waiting for the Army Corps of Engineers to release more water downstream. Here at the Port of Catoosa, where vessels are typically going in and out of the water, there's no activity. And behind me, the crane, is not being operated. It'll be like that for the foreseeable future until water levels go down. The Corps of Engineers plan to use additional funding from Congress to help fix overdue critical issues like flooding. When they say critical, this is what scares us and keeps us up at night. It means it has a 50% probability of failing within the next five years. So they have a critical list of, of uh, maintenance items that they will address when the money is available. Jeremy Mohew, Two Works For You.